Sandra Kambinis, and she is our tour guide. She's going to tell us a little bit about the historical accuracy of the Bible and the Apostle Paul here in Corinth. Of course, uh, uh, two letters were written uh, to the Corinthians. Uh, and uh, why don't you tell us about uh, what Saint happened Paul, here with St. Paul? We had Priscilla and Aquila here who, who talked all about. Uh, when uh, Aquila and Priscilla were expelled from Rome and they came uh, to Corinth, because they were in tent making, like St. Paul, they quickly became friends. And when eventually St. Paul started uh, preaching about Christianism, he started from uh, the synagogues because of his Jewish background, and that's why we're standing in front of the stone where you have the menorah and the inscription stating Jewish uh, synagogue up there, until eventually St. Paul is accused uh, by people for introducing new ideas, new ways of life, and then he was taken in the middle of the Corinthian Agora, where there is the Vima, which we can see today, and where uh, he was eventually set free by Gallio, who was an open-minded person, the brother of the philosopher Seneca. And when he asked if St. Paul uh, what he had done, if he had killed or uh, stolen something, and the answer was no, he just set uh, St. Paul free. Mm -hmm. So Sandra is an uh, archaeologist. And, uh, and a student of Paul, and uh, we appreciate you, uh, your time here. Paul had many good uh, travelers with him too, including Titus, and we hope that people will come to Greece to learn about Paul and some of these sites. Well, I have to thank you very much for being over here, and we are all following the steps of Paul together. Yeah.